And residents in one Kansas community say they've had enough of dangerous drivers. They're upset because some teenage drivers have caused trouble. It's our big story this morning. And Cakes and at Lawless, she is live to talk about how a local high school principal has taken action with a ban. Good morning, Annette. Hey, Jamal and Gloria, I'm out here on Boyd Avenue, and this unfortunately is the center of the problem. Students will park plenty of their cars alongside the road here, car after car, creating a little bit of a frustration for neighbors. Pretty soon, though, there will be some signage up that will prevent them from parking out here. Now, this is a look at some footage that I filmed yesterday of the cars out in this area and you can see I mean dozens of cars parked along the street. This is by the way on the north and west end of Newton High School. Many students park out here because it's close to an ag and tech building they use. One neighbor tells me though that some teenagers speed through this area. This winter though it led to a dangerous crash. Come to find out she wasn't even supposed to be on this street, but uh, she ran up and uh, tore his mailbox clear down and then tore, uh, hit some uh, uh, little retaining wall around the tree. And because of all this, the principal went before the city council. He says the ban will go into effect soon. Once those signs are officially put up, students will be required to park then at the parking lot on the south side of the building, and then they'll have to walk about a quarter of a mile to get access to the Ag and Tech buildings. But speaking to the principal the other day, he said, you know, he has spoken to people in this community for what, a couple of years, uh, complaining about the issue, not just about the parking itself. Some people had actually gone and cleaned up a lot of trash after students come back from the lunch hour. They might litter the area a little bit, and that's caused some frustrations right there, too. Reporting live in Newton and at Lawless, Cake News. And one Kansas community say they've had enough of dangerous mm -hmm. drivers. They're upset because some teenage drivers have caused trouble. It's our big story this morning, and Cakes and L. Lawless is live to talk about how a local high school principal has taken action with a ban. Good morning, Annette. That's right, Jamal and Gloria. That principal has taken action out here at Newton High School. We expect students will arrive within the next hour or so. But you know what? As they arrive to park this morning, they're going to see some changes very soon, especially as they try to enter some parts of the buildings over here on the side of the school. Now, this is what all is happening. The high school principal, yes, he's taking action, and he's hoping that there will be some change because of so many complaints that have gone through. Um, this has become a nuisance for some. Uh, dozens of cars are parked along the street along the north and west end of the high school. I captured this footage yesterday. I mean, dozens of cars all out there. Many students park in this area because it's close to an ag and tech building they use, so it's just a little bit convenient for them. But one neighbor tells me that some teenagers speed through this area, and this winter it led to a dangerous crash. Come to find out she wasn't even supposed to be on this street, but uh, she ran up and uh, tore his mailbox clear down and then tore, uh, hit some uh, uh, little retaining wall around the tree. And because of all this, the principal went before the city council this past week. He says the ban will go into effect soon. Right now, the city's working on making some signage to bring out um, for this change. Students will park then now at the high school parking lot just on the other side of the building, on the south side of the building. Um, and, and that's just what they're going to have to do. It's about a quarter mile away from the area. Um, that they have to go on toward the ag and tech buildings. But I think everyone and all will be happy in terms of neighbors and whatnot. Uh, coming up in our next half hour, though, I'm going to share with you a little bit about teenage driving, some things that we can do to encourage them and maybe perhaps ourselves to be safe. Reporting live in Newton and at Lawless Cake News.